Hey everybody, welcome to the Ron Line Report. Uh, there is some breaking news on the Sean Roden story. Uh, I spoke with someone who was very close to the case. I cannot say who, but trust me, this is someone on the inside. This information is 100% accurate and reliable. It's not a friend of a friend, or I heard this, or I heard that. This is completely reliable information, and it is this. Sean Roden did take not one, but two lie detector tests shortly after this uh, alleged incident that occurred last October, and he passed both of them. Uh, he took a standard polygraph, which you're all familiar with, and he also took a new type of lie detector test used in uh, various law enforcement uh, circles called iDetect. I never heard of it until today. So what is iDetect? It uses subtle movements of the eye to measure stress, often associated with deception, while the polygraph uses other bodily responses to the same purpose. While neither test is admissible in court, both tests are used by a variety of law enforcement and intelligence gathering agencies. Uh, so Sean took those both. He passed them both. So when you pass both of them, the accuracy, even though this is not admissible in court, but it's, it's a sign definitely in his favor. And uh, right now, because... In a case like this, often a person is tried in the court of public opinion long before they have their actual day in court with a defense attorney and with evidence being presented and testimony and things like that. Uh, and especially uh, a rape case, it carries such a negative stigma. Just being accused of rape can do a, a lot of damage to a person's reputation, to their career. Even if they're found innocent, not guilty, it, it still has a very, very lingering effect on their lives. Uh, a negative effect. Uh, in the case like Sean, this is his life, this is his career, you know, his reputation is on the line, and, uh, you know, as, as we keep saying, innocent until proven guilty, uh, this is something that's going to come up, there's going to be a lot more evidence, and uh, it's going to be coming out very soon, but here's one thing I want you guys to know, because, uh, you know, if Sean is, is not guilty, if he is in fact innocent, uh, I would definitely support him uh, from here on in. If he's guilty, you know, I wouldn't, but uh, everyone has the right to a fair trial. And in a case like this, where people are already making up their minds based on whatever, because he's a big guy, because he's a bodybuilder, people make assumptions uh, based just on that, on appearance and what the person does for a living. So to reiterate, I have it on very, very good authority from someone who is on the inside, very close to this case that he did, in fact, Sean Roden passed two different types of lie detector tests uh, that were based on questions as to whether the uh, acting question was consensual. He maintained that it was consensual in his answers, and he passed. So more is going to be developing. This is a story that we're going to keep hearing about as, as, uh, as it progresses, but I wanted to get that out there for now. It's important that we start getting any positive anything that's in his favor out there as well, just to keep the balance, uh, because he is Mr. Olympia. He is the reigning Mr. Olympia, and if he is indeed innocent, then, um, you know, our sport needs to stand up for him. That's all. Very quick one today, uh, and as I said, more, more news to come in the days and weeks to follow. Thanks for watching.